Hey everyone, I wanted to share a quick video on three tips you can use to reduce latency when recording with Overbridge. Uh, ever since I've had Overbridge, I've had to battle latency and audio degradation when recording. And I wanted to share these three tips I've found over time that have helped. And hopefully I can help you guys with your journey of using Overbridge. Tip number one is to adjust your sample rate and buffer size in a standalone Overbridge application and in your DAW. Uh, buffer size is the number of samples which corresponds to the amount of time it takes for your computer to process any incoming audio signal. A higher buffer size will result in a greater latency and the higher it is set, the more noticeable it will become. That means if you set the buffer size lower, then processing will take less time and latency will be decreased, making it less noticeable. Typically, you'll want to use the smallest buffer size your computer will tolerate without getting errors. Buffers are measured in samples, and sample rate is measured in frequency, how many samples per second. Dividing the two will be the physical time of latency, which is measured in milliseconds. So let's go ahead and turn on our box. Open up our DAW. My DAW of choice is Ableton, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop open Ableton right now. Here we are, we have a blank template open. And what you're gonna do is just go ahead, um, make sure you have a MIDI channel open, and go ahead and grab whatever device you're, you're looking to troubleshoot or fix your latency with. Um, go ahead and grab that device and pop it onto the MIDI channel. We're using the Digitone again. And here we are, we have the UI for Overbridge right here. And you may notice in the bottom left-hand corner, it says your host audio buffer size is 512 samples. It is recommended that you use 256 samples or lower. Please reconfigure your host. Okay, so what we'll do actually is for a quick test, we are going to um, record some audio with um, the buffer size and uh, sample rate not being configured uh, as it should. So. We'll go ahead and hit create, insert audio track, and um, we'll do um, diggy tone right here. And we're just gonna focus on track four. Um, I have a uh, bass that I'm using for a drum and bass song I've been working on, and it's, it has a lot of movement to it. And uh, I was messing with it earlier and I could hear some audio degradation. So I thought this would be a good example of, um, let's go listen to it now. Okay, right there, you probably heard a little pop. Right there again. So we got two good examples within first 20 seconds of recording on just one of the tracks. So you can imagine if this is happening on all your tracks, this can be horrible. Turn this off for now and we have our example so we can go back and compare the new recording and see what kind of difference we get. So first thing we're gonna do is um, just kind of get out of uh, minimize your DAW. And I'm just gonna go ahead and look for my device that I'm using the Digitone. So here we are, Digitone, and you'll see it pops up as a standalone application. This is the only way I've found to mess with these settings is in the standalone application. I was unable to find how to do this within the DAW, but it was really, as you saw, it just takes a second to pop it up outside the DAW, and it's it's not a big inconvenience in my opinion. So um, we're gonna go, you can click on your device name up here, and then audio and MIDI options. Now. What we're gonna do is go ahead and change our audio buffer size. So it's showing it 512 samples and that is not recommended um, in general, but especially for Overbridge. So um, 256 is what I found is the sweet spot. I've tried going lower and I am getting latency if I go any lower. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 256 samples, 5.8 milliseconds. And then the sample rate, we're gonna actually up it to 48. Um, 48K, so let's go ahead and choose that.
Now we're gonna go into our DAW and depending on the DAW, you're gonna get here, you know, with different steps, but with, with Ableton, you're gonna go into live and then preferences. And then for audio, you'll see we have our sample rate and our latency. So we're gonna want our latency um, buffer size to match what we just chose for the Dicky Tone. So we're gonna go ahead and choose 256 samples. And um, I can change this to 48 if I want. I'm gonna leave it at 44, one right now. Uh, I think it sounds fine. So um, now that we have that changed, let's go ahead and click on our diggy tone here and see if we're still getting that error. So as you'll see right now, the um, error message is gone, which is kind of nice. So we're not getting that error anymore. And let's go ahead and listen to uh, the same recording. We're gonna go ahead and record the bass of the song I'm working on and just see if we get any pops or latency or any, any audio degradation. Okay, that's about the same recording length there. Let's go ahead and listen to it now. So far, so good. Awesome. So that right there is a lot cleaner. We're not getting um, the latency that we're hearing before. And it really, um, even though those pops and cracks and latency effects only are every so often, they really add up and can ruin your tracks. Okay, so I went ahead and renamed the other clip clean. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with our first clip with some latency and our new clip after we've adjusted the buffer size and sample rate. And again, right there, right around the 14 and a half second mark and 21 second mark. We're gonna go ahead and listen to our new clip with the changes um, with less, less latency, hopefully, and see if we're hearing any degradation around the same spots. Awesome. So as you saw, we're not having any latency, at least for that 20 second stretch. We could go on and on and really test, but I found this was a clear indicator. of. Tip number two is to make sure your OS or your firmware is up to date. We have 1.4 running right now on the Digitone. You can also go into the Overbridge engine on your computer and you'll see we have Digitone 1.4 status idle. And the final tip is to turn off MIDI sync. Um, Overbridge is actually handling the sync via the plugin and it can produce problems if you're syncing MIDI at the same time as Overbridge is running. So what we'll do is we'll go in and go ahead and hit um, settings and then go to MIDI config right here and then click sync. And you'll see within sync we have different options and we're actually going to disable we have clock send checked and transport send and now we have all of our boxes unchecked so we're just disabling midi sync during the overbridge process to eliminate any kind of artifacts that are unwanted uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you guys i wanted to have it as a companion video to the how to set up overbridge video i've had questions about how to deal with latency and i thought this would serve as a great resource thanks for watching i hope this video is uh, entertaining and useful and i appreciate all you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video peace